what's going on i'll be what i'll be fitness gaming and you see the title of the video you know why you're here so we're playing some spell queller in domain zoo and let's see how that works out for us all right so this is a good hand uh let's just see how we're going to do this all right so we're on the play so we yeah we're going to just leave with uh try them here and then play the Florida strand and grab our breeding pool And then we, depending what they play, we're either gonna we're gonna decide which of these we're gonna go with. I always like to go with the Cabo. I think it's the best of the three. But you know, if we're playing against a deck that plays Fatal Push, we definitely want to go with the Draco. Um, if they're playing something that can, you know, can destroy Draco or Cabo, like let's just I don't I can't think of a one mana spell that could do that. But let's just say. Wear and tear or something, uh, we definitely go with the brawler because they're gonna most likely kill whichever threat we play first. Looks like an is it deck right now. Okay. So let's think. If we play Drake, the Draco, they could have we could block, they have bolt. Bolt for this. We could just take it, but so we're gonna go with the Draco here. Gonna be very hard for them to. They can't kill it, but it's fine because it'll be. It, I mean, unless they have two bolts, but most likely it'll just be like Ragavan block bolt, which we're fine with. Alright, so we're in a good position now. They could have like mana leak or something, but that's fine. Or even remand. So we're going to get in with the Draco here, then we're going to play the Territorial Kavu. And we're going to leave this fetch land here. If they do some shenanigans, like counter this or do something that leaves this Ragavan open to attack, then we'll fetch out a planes and get rid of it with the Leyline Binding. If they spend their turn here making a a token which I think that's what they're going to do um, I think we want to leyline binding it actually no do we even care for that thing so what do we want we definitely want another white and red right there. so sacred foundry here probably the brawler drawing a land here is like a fetch land is not bad because we can double um, travel flames yeah yeah so we were gonna get this in we're gonna play this grab a forest double travel flames and get there all right so this could be Kind of slow. If 
Prismatic Ending. The Sagas. I think Dromoka's Command is, is good. And like, let's leave one Spell Queller. Mulligan pretty aggressively there, and they were on the draw. Oof. Um, we're on the draw. I mean, this is not too bad. We're going to be able to get Domain. We can cast the Brawler. Late Binding, and we have some interaction here. So, let's grab yeah there's no reason to hold up this if we had like a bolt or something I would um consider holding up the fetch in case we have to get another land but only because we have so many that, you know, we could assemble Domain by turn 3 regardless. Um, you're giving your opponent information, but it is game 2. They already know what we're playing, and we're on moto, and this helps speed up the process. I mean, you're not fooling them by holding up a fetch land to the end of the turn. They know what you're going to do. They know what we're up to, man. All right. Ooh. Noble Hierarch, not a bad one. Um, unfortunately, we have a lot of land here, so it's not going to be as impactful. Maybe it will, I don't know. So it looks like opponents on some type of Just Guy deck. Normally, I thought it was Is It, uh, but they're on Just Guy looks. And they got a full grip. That's one of the things I really enjoy about Modern is that, you know, people would just play whatever they want to play. The mana bases are so easy to construct in Modern. And, the you know, the cards are well-rounded, the top cards. And you can just pretty much play whatever you want. You find a solid shell, you add some stuff, and you got a decent deck. All right, so depending on what we draw here, I think we leave Spellcaller up. If we draw like, oh, I was going to say if we drew something like this, but what I would want to do is play both. Noble Hierarch um, is... You know, not only does it help accelerate your mana in this deck, but it's also really good because of Exalted. Um, it allows you to beat out opposing Dracos. And in a situation like this, we're probably only going to be attacking with one creature per turn, is what it's going to be looking like. So next turn, we're going to have uh, Spell Queller and possibly Leyline Binding up. We just got to decide whether or not we want to, you know, shock one of these in. But I guess we'll see depending on what they play. It would be nice if they pass turn here with, like, Cryptic... Or some, something to try to interact with us, and then we intercept them with the Spell Queller. Oh, wait, what is this? This is a combo deck. I've only seen this creature in combo decks.
Maybe they're looking for something, and yeah, I'm not sure. If any of you guys know, uh, I know there's a combo with this card where they just win the game instantly, but it definitely doesn't play with these cards here. Oh, wait, you know what? I just realized we have a Noble Hierarch. Duh. We don't need to shock anything in. The cool thing is, whatever we take with this spell queller is going to be very hard for them to get back because it's going to have hex hexproof. All right, so we'll play white red. So now we have binding and spell queller up. So we got, what, 4, 9, 11 damage on board next turn if they tap out here and they're, you know, I think we can binding this. All right, so do we spell color that? I think we do. I think we do. I could have a counter spell here. But that's fine. Spell Queller putting in that work. Hexproof and Vigilance. So I think end of turn we... We're going to binding this. And then get in with everything. Not sure if it's correct, but we're not. I'm not 100% sure what the opponent is doing over there. And the times I've seen this creature, um, they combo off. That's what we've drawn here. Okay, so another piece of removal. All right, so let's go over the gameplay there. So everything seemed good. Uh, spell Queller was decent. I can definitely see the potential of Spell Queller with Noble Hierarch and how it can give the deck some more ways to interact with the opponent. Um, uh, Stubborn Denial would have been fine there as well because we already had the Draco, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, uh, I'm going to continue playing probably a couple more games with this, probably a couple more days, and just see how, just kind of test it out, see how it, how it feels. Uh, so far it feels okay, it feels decent. It does give us the tempo that we look for. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to continue playing. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, hit that notification button. And again, my friends, take care and peace out.